This is Puerto Rico. Actually, this is Miami. Today we're diving deep into the Puerto Rican community of this beautiful city. We got the people, the culture, and most importantly, the food. The best mofongo in Miami? Follow me. Hola. Best colada right there? <laughs> Amazing. Oh, dude, I love the mask. Look at the mask. Puerto Rican nice. diner style. And they have the national dish right here. Arroz con gandules. Gandules. Is it gandules or gandules? Arroz con gandules. Gandules. And that's, uh, that's, that was brought in by Africans. Oh, the, the frog. La rana. That's like, a, yeah, that's like the sound. Yeah, yeah. Puerto Rico. Oh, we got the mofongo and then we got the hibarito. Hibarito sandwich. Acapuria too. Pagadito. I guess I'll do five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but those are just, 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 just a little bit. It's a little bit. Nothing. Get ready, prepare, mention the Bacalaito. All the basics of food. Yeah. Bacalaito, acapuria, and pastel. 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 Old school diner, lots of beautiful light coming through. Mariano, my man, how you doing? All right, you? This is the uh, fifth generation. His dad's not here today. So it's you and your sister, right? Priscilla, back uh, here? Let me know what you need to make it comfortable. So where is everybody here from, the staff? Cuban, Nicaragua, and Okay. So Priscilla is fifth generation, so your grandmother, your great-grandmother started. Yes, my grandmother's mother. 74, correct? Yes, 74. Shout out to Abuela Fina for starting this amazing restaurant. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so do you speak Spanglish? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Because in, in Puerto Rico, everybody's a Spanglish speaker. Yes, we do. We, we speak both. As in the same conversation, in Español, Inglés, just, whatever comes out, just comes out. And where were you born? Miami. Miami? Yes. Hey, you're like me, you're a unicorn. Yes, I am. Yeah, here in Miami, it's, it's rare to come by people that have actually were born here. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the Puerto Rican community, this was the old Puerto Rican community in Miami, yes, right? And you, you're the last one standing. Wow. Yes, for now. For now. For now, we're gonna be forever, hopefully. <laughs> so you were raised in this kitchen? Yes, in this kitchen, in this restaurant, in this neighborhood. And, and why is there so many famous people in Puerto Rico? Because we're the best. No, dude, it's, it's crazy how many there are. <laughs> it's, it's the food? You think it's the food? <laughs> the food, it's, it's uh, the personalities. We're really, yeah. really, really mingle, we mingle. So what are we making now? We're making the mofongo and we're making the hibarito sandwich. Perfect. Look, they're frying some good stuff over there. Looks like uh, alcapuria. Oh, wow, what is that? Chicharron de pollo. Chicharron de pollo. Pork chops. Ooh, looks so good. Ay, que rico, se ve delicioso eso. What I really want to see is mofongo being made. That's the, that's the one thing we really haven't gotten, is mofongo being made. Mofongo is just like fufu. Uh, and somebody told me that in Cuba they call it fufu as well. And the fried plantains. Fried plantains, smash them up with some chicharron. So you put two big pieces of um, pork rinds, the chicharron, and then what did you put here? The garlic? The garlic, mixed with the oil. Oh, it looks good. It's going to be nice and crispy. Y la yuca. Over here we have the cassava. Plantain. So who taught you how to make this? Uh, well, just being here, my grandmother. Yeah. My grandmother taught me everything I know. So your grandmother taught your dad, taught you. Taught my mom. Do you know how to make every dish? Um, oh. I'm a, I just need a little help with the arroz con gandule, but yeah, pretty much. The I national know. dish, dude. <laughs> yeah, that has to be perfect. Really. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm sure. The Puerto Ricans, they, they know. They know when you're slacking. Add a little more. So you've been a chef your whole life? No. No. Well, you could say because of because of this, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's amazing seeing the, the influences of the Caribbean with the African cultures like this. If you go to, I went to Ghana uh, and they make fufu using this, same thing, just massive, you know? Yeah. Uh, the only thing is that theirs isn't as like rich. They don't add the pork, okay. which you guys do. They don't have the chicharron, even the garlic. That, that's just more of a, 
Just a mash. Okay. No. This is the most important part. Ahí, ahí vamos, vamos. Let's see this. Wow. Yeah, so what makes Puerto Rican food so special? I guess the flavor. The flavors? Yeah, the natural flavor that we have. But no spice though. We love spice. We love spice? I don't know. I, online, it looks like it's all mayo ketchup. Oh, we do love mayo ketchup too, but we just sprinkle that spice all over that food. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. And uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, we, also, we actually got some hot spice right now. Do you have hot spice right now? Yeah, yeah but dude, I, unfortunately, I got my own. Nice. <laughs> I got this for you, bro. This is for you. Thank you, bro. Thank you. But, uh, pique. What's pique? Hot sauce. Pique is hot sauce? Yes. Um, no, not really. I think no matter where you at, when you're Puerto Rican, you're Puerto Rican. You could be in New York, you could be in California, Miami. No matter where you at, Puerto Rico, you, you carry that in your blood. So. Do you speak more English yeah, at I speak home? more English yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, because that's one thing you notice in Puerto Rico, that everybody is, it, it's, it, both languages are official languages. Yeah. yeah. But, so there is a difference between like a, a Puerto Rican that only speaks Espanol and then the ones in America who some of them don't even speak English, you know? Yeah. But obviously we're raised here, so it's different. Yeah. But, uh, and then uh, this lady's amazing over here cooking all this food. De qué? De Honduras. No llega a Honduras. I haven't been to Honduras yet. Es el último para mí. Oh, no, no. What are you doing? Oh, what is this? Oh, wow. Nice and crispy. Have a little piece of skin. Heaven, bro. Mm, delicious. We have to see this. This is the best thing ever invented from Puerto Rico. This bacalaito. This is a cod fish fritter. I had one the size of my head once. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. And I think in piñoles. Piñoles. Here we go. It's not the best. I went in a circle here, but it's yours. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> Bacalaito. Bacalaito, no? Bacalaito. Bacalaito. Codfish fritter. Yeah. The best. I, I love cod. Cod is a uh, cold water fish. Yeah. It's a uh, personal favorite. Portuguese yeah. love it. Spanish love it. We also make it. It's called bacalao from Vienna. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We, uh, that's one of our specials. Right? Oh, nice. Yeah. Next time. Next time. Yeah. Oh, ba bao. 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 ¿Qué más? Vigoron. Vigoron. A lot of good dishes. Carlos. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos. The, the guy, Carlos. Carlos, dude. Carlos, Carlos is there. He's just there. Venga. I want to say the sandwich, no? Oh, that's the acapuria with carne. So this is the acapuria. It has meat in it. And we're going to dunk it into this mayo ketchup. Oh man, sweet. Milk is good. That recipe has been around for 50 something years. Mm. It's like silky. Oh, Lacapuria is too good. <laughs> nice and oily. I'm actually in love with it. Yeah. Thank you. It's a really good Lacapuria. Bro, the combination? Epic. Mira, esa Lacapuria, delicioso. Demasiado. Dude, it was too good. It was too fire. Just right out of there, bro. Right out of there. Mariano, what is going on here, man? What is the sandwich? This is the Jibarito sandwich. Almost like the steak sandwich. Instead of using the bread, we use uh, fried plantains. So tostones. Yep. Also wow. goes with the mayo ketchup like the pizza. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't and wait. we also have some secret mojo juice that we use. Mojo juice? Yeah. So I've seen something similar in Cuban culture, like Cuban food, but not like this. This is a... A beautiful sandwich. So we have the onions, the onions, little crispiness. Tomatoes, so it's a true sandwich. Yeah. All right. You want to take a bite? Yeah, I want to take a bite. But I was gonna tell you, the acapuria. It, you know what it reminds me of? A kibe. It's like that Lebanese influence. Because oh, yeah. it's it's almost the same thing. I was looking at it. I was like, whoa. Yeah. Oh, that's the that's the arroz en gandules. Yeah. ¿Y quién lo hace tú? La señora, yeah. Good. Bro, fried cod, fish and chips everywhere I go, bro. You know my favorite dish in the world is fish and chips. There's another fish and chips. Where's the chips, though? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> got my fogo. Yeah, I'm taking all this. 
we're eating all this right now, guys. Let me let me, let me take this myself. Joking. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't, dude. I can't. I, I physically can't right now. And over here we have a nice little bread. Ooh, mira eso. Eh, increíble, demasiado. Look at all this food, bro. Thank you. It's great. Three different So is this typical? This is given to everyone that comes in. So everybody gets a little bit of bread, not yes, a little tostada. Bread. With some oh, bro, this, 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 this reminds me of like my childhood right now. Let's do a bacaladito. Check it out right here. I'm gonna break this guy open. Oily, crunchy. Gotta get that mayo look. The creamy and silkiness of that. I love it, man. Nice and oily. This is the Spanish influence. De España. Dude, it's so good. I've had a few of these in, um, in Portugal. Similar. Not that big, though. This is like the, the big fish and chips uh, Titanic. Yeah, your food is comforting, to say the least. Mm -hmm. What do you eat? What do you like the most? The mofongo and the what is yours? I don't know. I've never tried this one. Oh, you're gonna. Do it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try. It. I'm gonna jump straight into it. This is like a a steak slider. Yes. Latin style. No bread. No bread. Yeah, yeah. No, but I mean, you, it's potatoes. Potatoes. All right, here we go. I love the freshness with the, the lettuce. Should I dip anything into it? The mojo. The mojo, right? Yeah. Soak this all up. Dude, I can imagine this on a beach in Puerto Rico with a malaya. Insane. Did you order it? Hmm? Did you order it again? Mm -hmm. It's happiness right here. Oh, I love the crispy onions too. And ne next to me, we have the national beer. I haven't drank a beer in a while. It will help you. Mm -hmm. It's gonna help your life. Yeah, no, this is perfect for the beach. Yeah. You go back to Puerto Rico a lot? Yes, and, I do. Yeah. It's funny because everybody I know from Puerto Rico, they go back like three, four times a year. Right? It's right there. It's right, right there. there. It's right there. It's cheap. Yeah. It's, it's still affordable. No passport. Yeah. Where do you go in Puerto Rico? Do you go, go to, to San Juan? You go to San Juan? Yeah. Yeah. I'm dining with Culebra. Culebra? I haven't gone. It's, yeah. Vieques. Vieques, yeah. So Vieques, Culebra, those are like the most like virgin, like, you know, no. island. Yeah, yeah. No tourists. Which is your favorite? Which one did you grow up with? They have memories. Mopongo. 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 But my best best is carne con papa. Carne con papa? Yeah. You gotta come for that. Uh, how many dishes do you have on the menu right now? Oh, a lot. A lot. <laughs> Six main dishes mm -hmm. that are specials, but then it's a la carte. Everything's a la carte. Like two taco, lobster. We have steak. Pizza, everything, everything. 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 So I'm gonna jump in here. Fried plantains, mashed. Cut this in half. Over here we have more mojo. No. no. Sorry. So just dip in the caldo. Gosh. Let it soak it up. It's amazing food. After that, you get this nice, greasy crunch. Pequeñas alitas. Yes. Little wings. Oh, I like this. The greasiness with this. The salty with the crunchy. Mm hmm You know, some people say bacalito is better than this. I prefer this. Yeah, me too. Me yeah. Too. The meat, you dip it in ketchup and hot sauce. Yeah. Oh, you have hot sauce, you can take it home, dip it in your hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what is the obsession with mayo ketchup? Why why are Puerto Ricans so obsessed with it? Because I, uh, I guess it, I don't know. I went down a rabbit hole reading about it. Did like you just throw it in there. Yeah, I guess it's Americanized Americanization of it. Yeah, oh, it's like um, a special sauce. It's done a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. People who have been coming for years, a lot of regulars. Yeah. 
Yeah. Back in the 70s, same like and then now it's your kids, your grandkids. Same places every day. Yeah, and with that coffee sound, it's like that's that's typical Miami, by the way. Anywhere I go, I hear this. Like, and your and your staff is a mix of like Puerto Ricans, Nicaraguenses, Hondurans, Cubans as well. Yeah. So all us Latinos love each other here. Yeah. <laughs> the city's been growing. You see it down the street. I mean, there's an extra hundred skyscrapers here. You know. Uh, have you guys been affected in a good way, in a bad way? It affected us in a, in a little bit because now it's like people are getting back to work, getting paid now. But when it was the COVID, it went down a lot. So it was a lot of to goes. It wasn't a lot. Of, you know, a Were lot you of money closed? To make. No, we didn't get to close. Which is great. We have a, a ventanita, so we just did the thing through the ventanita. Perfect. And um, a lot of to goes. Like we have half of our customers, the majority are to go orders. We're here for the community, but I guess with the new buildings, a lot more other people are ordering, but to go, not to eat here. Yeah. It affected us in a good way. And what's your top selling dish? The pollo a la plancha. Pollo a la plancha? Yeah. yeah. No, we got tres leches. You got tres leches as well? Yeah, we got tres leches. We, we're starting to sell the choco flan, which is half chocolate, half flan. Do you, do you have that right now? We could try. Coco flan? Coco flan. And for Christmas, uh, coquito. Coquito, coquito. Yeah, a friend of mine always buys. He buys two bottles and it's like, oh, it's so good. It's a creamy coconut with some rum. Perfect. So are you superstitious? Am I superstitious? I work with the dead. No, because some people say Puerto Rico. Yeah? So I see dead people all day. What You got to go to that job. I don't want to go to that job. That's the one you got to go to. scary. You're not going to be eating, though. It's like, let me see this person. Yeah, you're going to leave your chair. You're a mortician? Oh wow! Yeah, I just come here to help with my days off. I've been doing that for 23 years. Where is that? Down the street. Down the street. Oh mm-hmm. shit! <laughs> scary, scary. Dude. <laughs> I watched a lot of SVU. I've seen a lot of it in show. Really? Yeah. And six feet under. Six feet under. Yeah, yeah. Too place. much. And just like that. Oh my god! It's tough coming to the restaurant after work. Right. It's just totally different. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a different world, right? <laughs> I just came from quiet. These customers are more difficult. Than that. <laughs> you can eat right there looking at the body. I was gonna say that the customers here are more difficult, right? Yeah, yeah. The customer here, yeah, they're right over there. there. Oh, they're, they're, they, don't they're, they don't talk. They don't talk. They're quiet. Them. They're good. They don't complain. I don't have to worry about anything. We have DoorDash and Uber, and they order all. Oh, Coco flan, chocolate flan, <laughs> dragon flu fry. Yeah, everything flan. That's exactly why we sell out so fast. It's so sad. <laughs> Well, when it's good, it's good, you know? Like it's, it's good. good. And it's fresh. So. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. This is actually number one for me. Yeah, the sandwich yeah. with the mojo. Yeah. Nice garlic. Oh, man. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, Puerto Rico is a very unique island because it's Latin, but it's American. So, do you feel like as an American Puerto Rican, more gringo? Because I'm gringo. I was born here, but my parents are Venezuelan. But you're so gringo. Do you feel that? Do you guys feel like more? American. Yeah, more American. I don't think so. We feel at home. Feel at home. Especially when we're from Miami, it's like we're in the same place. Yeah. Puerto Ricans are Puerto Ricans anywhere. That's like the thing. It's like, oh, you're Puerto Rican from Hawaii. Nah, I'm Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. We don't care. I, I know. I know. There is a vibe there. Yeah, it you is. feel it. When you you feel land, it. It's just like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, plus you can speak English, Spanish, everybody understands each other. It's just like so yeah. so simple. Um, yeah, so they're just vibes. They open the door for you. you. They have such things. Some of the other areas will go say like, oh, hey, this is friendly. Yes, but, yes, Do you feel but, like that's true or? No, at first I was Israel. like, but then I was like, no, this is everybody, everybody. And then when you walk down in the neighborhood, you can hear people in their windows and they're jamming and they're like vibing. Everybody's like happy, like, no worries. Yeah. I went after Maria and it felt like everybody was super happy. They're happy, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I'm saying. And I went right before Maria, right before it hit, like July. Wow. And it was like, vibe. Everybody had so much fun. <laughs> so Puerto Ricans say they don't like spice, but they actually do. It's called pique. And it's really spicy. So it's really spicy? So I'm just gonna grab something. Oh wow, that's a lot. It's a lot, bro. You think it's a lot? Oh no. Spicy. 
habanero? <laughs> no, it's perfect. This on top of the mofongo. Yeah. See the pepper? It has a good flavor. Mm. That's, what, that's what gives it all the food so much flavor. One last thing. Arroz con gandules. Very hot. The national dish of Puerto Rico. Ooh. So it's rice and peas. Wow. Mm. It's like soft. Lots of flavor. Mm -hmm. But this needs like that. No, mejor así. Picante. Dame todo picante. I love your restaurant. The setting, like this diner feel, very chill. This is like what's missing in Miami. Old places like this. Yeah. Everybody that comes here comes like they're at home. Right? Yeah. Ooh, this is a great dish. So what else is in here? Chicharron as well? Chicharron and pork. Chicharron and pork. Yeah, some big peas. This is the difference like in our Latin cuisine. But because you guys are in the Caribbean, there's that extra different beans. Uh. Yeah, caliente, caliente esto. Okay, no, I'm gonna try this. this. Is cola, champagne, India? It's like a champagne cola, sherry. Hey, Puerto Ricans do love their pique. You know, I'm really enjoying how comforting the food is. It has a very like southern states of America. You know, their food is very comforting. So I feel. So no plan. <laughs> no pups in here? <laughs> yeah. Now J-Lo? Where's J-Lo at? J-Lo. Now we're waiting for J-Lo and Mark Anthony. And... No, they don't come together anymore, dude. They can't. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of Puerto Rican artists like Yandel from Wisin Yandel. We had um, Evie Queen. We had Fat Joe. We have um, uh, Farruko King. Oh, wow. Um, and the list goes on. Yeah. Why, do you, why do you think they come here? Like, is it because you guys are like... Oh, Staple of the community. Yeah. You guys are kind of like yeah. And there's also a lot of word of mouth. Though a lot of people just telling the other person that you know come over here, the food is good, and they they trust them. What are these What are these celebrities order when they come here? What do they like? Like what does Fat Joe like to eat? Or like I don't know. Do you remember any of their orders or anything? Uh, like the, the chicharron de pollo with the arroz con andule and the mofongo. Pretty much every what they get all the time. So who's the most famous person that's been here? Who's the most absolutely famous person that's been to this spot? Well, my favorite one is Fat Joe. Where's David Beckham, dude? He's not Puerto Rican, bro. I know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> David Beckham is not Puerto Rican. He's right here, though. I feel like he more likes mushy peas. He's more of a mushy peas guy. No, he likes fish and chips. Bacalajito with some yuca frita. That's true. I don't know, but I'd rather eat these any day of the week than the fish and chips, bro. This is how you do it. You gotta dip it. You gotta, you gotta do full submersion, and then you're good to go, bro. Don't worry about using forks and knives and none of that. This is, this is finger food right here. Wow. A little cafecito, Puerto Rican style. Just Cuban. <laughs> So I'm gonna eat mofongo twice more today. <laughs> Two more mofongo, I'm gonna eat mofongo without. Yeah. You're gonna be talking like a Puerto Rican. Yeah, right? Boricua. That's how you Oye. Oye. Oye, nene. Oye, nene. Oh my god. So, what is Boricua? It's the Borinque. They said that we're part of Borinque and then they just named us that. Came from that. What they were called before. Got it. <laughs> You're like, I don't know. Stop asking me questions. <laughs> we had a good day. Hey, thank you so much. You're welcome. Food's amazing. Thank you, for thank you, my man. Thank you, thank you. Next spot. This is the flag of Puerto Rico. No, it's not. The Puerto Rican flag's over there. Don't tell me you knew the difference. We're in Little Havana. It's a little unexpected, but this is where we're going to find the best mofongo in the city. Let's see. Mofongo restaurant.
So right now he's making a mojito. Bacardi left in 1958 from Cuba to Puerto Rico. So of course they've inherited the drink. But if you guys don't know, Pina Colada was, in, was born in Puerto Rico. Lots of controversy around it. Some people say that Pina Colada was invented in San Juan, but lots of different people claim that they invented it three different places. One invented the frozen Pina Colada. That's at the, what is it, the Hilton Hotel. Another one, 1963 Barachina Bar. I think that's a bar, right? I saw it in a video. And then there's one more, but um, you know, at least they invented it, right? And we're not doing version today, we're doing it with some Bacardi. And my diet, the beer. Some more ice. This is the, the industrial blender. This is the one for the smoothies. It's perfect. Is it la piña colada? No, it's una limonada. Ah, it's una limonada. So that's the lemonade. <laughs> He's about to make a piña colada, the national drink of Puerto Rico. It's a huge controversy, but the real controversy, which is better, banana colada or piña colada? Good time, Torian. Ah, okay, what is it? Comida, man, no sé. Sabe que ahora es todo Caribe, no? Todo Caribe, pero... Ah, no. La comida peruana. La comida peruana. Eso sí, eso sí. Ceviche, jalea, chaufa. Buenísimo. Look at that. With some whipped cream on top. <laughs> Canela. Some cinnamon. Look at the flag right there. It's a piña colada. Yeah, dude, it's a, it's a joke. It's amazing. Perfecto. Wow, bro. Oh my gosh. It's so satisfying. Mm. Ice cold. Get some of the whipped cream right here. Hey. I know one thing, the person who invented the piña colada loves singing in the rain. Piña colada. <laughs> it's good, bro. It's, it's ice, so. Mm. So there's many different versions. You have virgin, no alcohol. You have ice cold. It's like this, it's like a slushy. Wow. This on a beach? Must. What is piña colada? Coconut cream, pineapple juice, and rum. That's it. So this is Coquito, this is their coconut uh, eggnog, basically, no? But this is for like, Christmas, yeah. in Navidad. ¿Y tú eres de Puerto Rico? No, ¿de dónde? Colombiana, so aquí tenemos mesa de todo. Qué bueno. Yo soy venezolano, pero soy gringo. Uh. Oh, wow. Oh, lo sientes, no? You got that rum, creaminess, the amount of coconut in here, it's to die for. The combination between these two. And it's sweet. And this just pops out. It's so juicy. That's why I love pineapple. Yeah, they made it very slushy in here. This is a Puerto Rican kitchen, Mofongo restaurant. Hey, que tal? What's up, guys? How you doing, bro? Good? We're gonna make the mofongo right here, guys. It's Spanglish, it's Spanglish. But do you speak more English or more Spanish? More Spanish. I speak Spanish here in Miami. We have mofongo and mofongo. So it's how they make mofongo. Same way they use to make fufu in uh, West Africa, right? So same thing. Fried plantains, mash it. They also throw chicharron. They throw some pork in there. So it, it's a different type of dish, but it has an African influence. Pork, chicken. And you, were you born here? In Miami? Or? Mm. There's a difference. You see, he only wants to speak in Spanish. No, he only speaks Only speaks Spanish. Only speaks Spanish. Oh, se ve increíble eso. Hace cuánto tiempo viniste a Miami? Cuatro años. So, los puertorriqueños que están aquí son gringos o son. Ella es la chef ejecutiva. Exactly, the chef. And she's making for me the best, the pulpo. So, this is the octopus salad. Amazing. 
And were you born here or you from Puerto Rico? Yeah. yeah. So do you speak more Spanish or more English? More Spanish. Yeah? More Spanish. Uh, I understand English. And do you feel American or is it like algo diferente, no? Uh, uh, Puerto Rican or American? Yeah, no, but you, it's just some sense of culture, you know, some pride in being Puerto Rican. No, ella, ella habla Spanglish, so okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what are you making here? Just uh, uh, octopus salad? Yes, I have here uh, orange juice, lime juice, uh, peppers, onions, and octopus. Yeah, this is like a Puerto Rican ceviche. That's Puerto Rican sancocho. Yeah, because they also have it in Colombia. Yeah, this this is like a perfect uh, a soup to have after after una reseca, no? After you drank too much, you have a sancocho, it wakes you up. No, no, esto es se levanta muerto esto. It lifts you from the dead. <laughs> oh man, it looks really rich. This one, this this soup looks amazing. Hey, they serve the the mofongo in the modern pesto. I like it. So Venezolano, mira, cachapa o arepa. Arepa, no, amigo, cachapa para mí. <laughs> bueno, cachapa en la mañana. En la mañana desayuno siempre. Y arepa, desayuno, almuerzo, cena también. Ah, sí, sí. No, that's the thing is that when you're Venezuelan, it's either arepa or cachapa. Arepa is all day long. Yeah, so the pastelito is very similar to the empanada. So it's a meat pie. Was that chicharrón? El chibarito es hambre. Chicharrón de pollo, carne frita. Arañita, yuca frita. So like a... Carne de cerdo frita. Ay. Oh, look. Nice. Some sauteed onions. Beautiful. It's like a nice board of fried stuff. All right. So what's that? That looks so good, bro. The steak. How juicy it is. The oils. Yeah, I, I like this board. It's a beautiful board for like three, four people. What is Boricua? ¿Qué es un boriqueño? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es un boriqueño? No puedo decir. Es que te lo digas ahora. Todos somos boricuas, todos somos boricuas. Nosotros amamos nuestro país, amamos nuestra comida. Y eso es lo que hacemos aquí en Miami. Creemos que todo el mundo vea lo que es eh, nuestra, nuestra comida. Y siento yo que lo estamos haciendo bien. Todo el mundo sabe lo que es un boricua. El boricua tiene sazón. ¿De sazón? Sí, esto es el sazón boricua. ¿Cómo? I don't even understand what he said. Sí, habla muy rápido y es como eh, cortan palabras y no sé cosas, ¿no? Like, I'm, I'm el puertorriqueño es único, el boricua es único. Sí. Uh. Making the mofongo. Uh. It's a big one. Caliente, caliente. Saliendo. Wow. ¿Qué era eso? La mantequilla. Mantequilla, so it's butter, got some salt. Mmm, so that's nice and rich and creamy. Some garlic. Always garlic, that is the secret ingredient in the cuisine. No? Pon el ajo en todo. Ajo en todo. More butter. Yes. He's hitting it so hard that it's like popping up. Oh, it's like nice and thick. Fried plantains. You have to get the big chunks. It's too difficult. It's hard. But it's like garlic. It just hits you. It's so pungent. Listo. Okay. Do this. Oh, okay. With his hand, he molds it, just like fufu. Super hot, like scorching hot. Oh my God, he's gonna burn his hand. Oh, wow, qué arte. So, haces un hueco ahí. Ah, lo llenas. Me muevo. So he's making it softer with the uh, the butter. Oh, look at this. Look at this. He like, grabs it. Dude, if you don't have those gloves on, you just burn your hand. No, put on ahí. So, ¿cómo se llama esto? Pilón. Pilón. Motor and pestle. Pilón. Yeah, this one looks like nice and thick and like the garlic, the chunks of garlic in there. Massive. He molds it perfectly. 
and then he fills it up with whatever meat you want. So you have octopus, you have uh, shrimp, cream, pork, chicken, pork, chicken, steak. Beef. All right, so we'll go with some beef, steak. churrasco. Steak. It's a churrasco. One minute. <laughs> This guy's too fast. Is this the best mofo in Miami? <laughs> it might be. Got chimichurri, we got churrasco. Massive. Look at the whole thing is mofongo. That's just a mayo ketchup. Why do you ask for mayo ketchup, bro? Mayo ketchup is their, dude, it's their sauce. That with this? Dude, it looks too good. The chimichurri that they put on that. <sighs> Get a photo. Con el mofongo. Claro. Nice fried plantains, some chicharrones, some pork in there. Then you have the meat on top. You have that nice chimichurri. I'm going to dive in. Mayo ketchup. Y tú eres puertorriqueña? No. Cubana. Cubana. Okay, buenísimo. <laughs> The cousins. <laughs> Thank you. In the Caribbean, this is called a pilon. This is where they serve the mofongo. And over here, we have a pastelito. Very uh, sugary, this one. So plantain, got pumpkin. So it's like a tamal. It's like a tamal. Si, no? But it looks, it looks a little sweet. Almost like sweet bread, crumbly. You have meat in there, a little chickpea. Mmm. That buenísimo. Savory and a little sweet. You know what I think this is missing? Pique. You know, in Venezuela, we have the same thing. It's called ayaca. No, no, no. Not, not the same. Harina. Ah, okay. These are all Plátano, vegetables. Plátano, calabaza, mm -hmm. eh, guineo. Yeah, it's a very savory banana, dish. Banana. And this is the pique. This is the spice. I'm going to try it así para ver. Spicy. I love picante. Mm -hmm. When you see those chilies, you know it's spicy. So good. And here's the moment of truth, the mofongo. I love about this restaurant, it's named mofongo and they have many variations, so you can just get a different topping. So it's, it's chimichurri con chicharron and mofongo. More garlic. Everything's garlic here, guys. No, but that were buenísimo juntos. Do you mix this with the uh, mayo ketchup? Because that's what I've seen. Gente hace esto. Great combo. Yeah, so the owners of the restaurant are twins. Son gemelos. Okay. Amazing mofongo. Is it the best? All right, so he's from a, he's from a place about 30 minutes drive from, uh, from the capital, San Juan. And what did you bring in here? Caldo de pollo. Caldo de pollo. So we have to get some more mofongo and dip it in here, correct? Just like this. Yeah, look how it just soaks it up. It's like bread. Está caliente. Mm. Chicken soup. Drink it. I can't stop. So it has to be fried plantain. Mofongo is always fried plantains. Fufu is boiled plantains. Right? Biggest okay. difference. But you guys also add pork and chicharron. Fufu, they never add meats. I can just do some bad bunny, it's all slag. Él ha dicho todo. Si, no? Ella. Ah, vamos a probar el flan. ¿Cuál me probamos? Dame una sorpresa, lo que tú crees. We have to do flan. It's the, it's, the, it's the only dessert. No, I'm joking. They have arroz con leche. We got the flan. The famous flan from Puerto Rico. ¿Y cuál es este? De coco. The coco, some coconut flan. Look at that, nice and fluffy egg custard. Nice caramel on top. Mofongo restaurant. <laughs> mm. Where's it been my whole life? Holy. Delicioso, demasiado. Hey, if you guys aren't gonna even, it's just, damn. No, it's el coco. It's like silky and, and sweet. The gray coconut on top. I think the last time I had Puerto Rican food was like six years ago, actually, in Puerto Rico. Miami, rare. You know, it's a small community. We got these like three restaurants. There's actually one also in deep in Kendall, I think it's Isla de Encanto. But uh, this is what you got. 
Got mofongo all day, one of the best dishes in the Caribbean. And always, the, you got the fried bacalaito and the acapurria, which is like uh, kibe from uh, Lebanon. With the flan. Nothing like it. Who got the better flan, the Cubans or the Puerto Ricans? I don't know. The thing is that Puerto Ricans are like a lot of Cubans because they left Cuba. But then you live in Miami, so you don't want to say anything. They'll get you. Uh... <laughs> if you don't take me away from this, I'm going to like, dude, I'm going to take like three days home. Flan's history dates back to ancient Rome when egg surpluses were transformed into custards to produce both sweet and savory taste. The Spaniards took it to the Americas where it became a delicacy in Puerto Rico. Like stirred up the best flan. To make money, bro. That's what he said. To make money. Nah, no one's done this. No one's. No one's ever dressed up like a like a cock. Unico. <laughs> it's the only one, dude. Sorry, it's the, <laughs> trying to like. No, 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 working. You no working. Miami, right? no working. This is this is no. unico in Miami. Only in Miami. Number one. Oh. Oh, okay, so there's baseball games going on. That's why they're here. Okay, okay. No, I'm telling her, like, I see a lot of people. It's just, like all tourists. Like, no, no, it's a lot of Puerto Ricans, a lot of locals, but of, of course, they have a big influence of tourists. It's a Tuesday, it's 1 30, and it's packed. It's que está lleno. Everybody comes here for the mofongo. I mean, you name your restaurant after the most famous dish. Sí, la mayoría viene a probar el mofongo. This is all the variations. Mofongo, see, sí, wow. Lobster. They have a lobster in Mofongo. Check out the lobster, dude. No? But they didn't surf and turf. Como langosta y... No, they do have a mix. Oh, they have the surf and turf. Next time, next time. My man. Hey. Bro, gracias por todo. Gracias. No, delicioso. Increíble. I'm gonna remember this one. And just like that, we're here at El Body Food Truck. My boy Pepo in there. He's making some Mofongo. My man. How you doing? Hey, how you doing, brother? Good, good. Good to see you I'm, again. I'm back, I'm back. This guy's Facebook Welcome famous back. now. Welcome back, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's do this. So what more fun are we making today? First of all, we're gonna start with an appetizer. That is an empanada. Well, pionono empanada. Pionono is a very common uh, food in Puerto Rico that has sweet plantain, cheese, and um, uh, ground beef. But in this case, we have a mix of an empanadilla with the pionono. We can start with that, and then she's gonna make it for you guys uh, uh, first of all, we need to get uh, the plantilla for the empanadilla. Very important. You know, if you go to Argentina or some other place, they bake the empanadas. In Puerto Rico, we, we have them fried, so it's a little bit different. In this case, we're going to start with the sweet plantain. Put the sweet plantain on the empanada. Very important. We get the ground beef. We put the ground beef. You know, that's the way to put it. You know, beautiful. And then mozzarella cheese. Another important part of the empanada. See? And then you close the empanada and you do the roll. Looks like a closed yeah, taco. Like it's like an empanada. Empanada. Empanada, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. We can do it again. Then this plantilla, no. Not the best one. Podemos, podemos cortar. And a medalla, she got a medalla light. Well, it's a light one, it's light. Ice cold. Oh, it's perfect. In this beachy weather, right? <laughs> now, we're gonna do the main entrance. It's gonna be a Bistén Cebollado Mofongo. In our truck, we use three plantains. It all depends on the size, but most of the time we use three plantains, so it's a huge mofongo. You know, you have to cut the slices. A pionono empanada, ground beef, sweet plantain, mozzarella cheese, with the empanada outside, fried with the mayo ketchup sauce. I like how you use this like little twist at the very top. Pionono empanada. Mm -hmm. It's gonna burn my mouth, right? Yeah, it's, it's like too hot. But you can do it. Woo! Oh, 
don't know what's no in words. here. No words. No words. <laughs> what's in there? It's a uh, sweet plantain, ground beef, and mozzarella cheese. Mmm. Yeah, it's like melting. Wow. Whoa, what a beautiful bite. That's sweet. God damn. This is all very unique, and I've had so many dishes today with the mayo catch. Right? Yeah, it's, it's in everything. It's in everything, yeah. But you need to know how to do it too. It's not just putting mayo, mayo and ketchup, that's it. Oh, no? no? I thought that was literally what they're doing. You're no. just like putting it together. No? no, no, no. In our cases, so, so tell us about it. In the next video, I'll tell you about it. Not in this one. <laughs> the secrets. Secrets. Mmm. You're ridiculous. Yep. Plantain for the mojongo. You have to put the, the plantains on the pilon. This is what we call pilon. Again, top secret. The garlic sauce, the chicharrones, on salt. Start matching the mojongo. Oh, the crunch. Yeah. See how, how it sounds? Beautiful. That's how it's supposed to sound, you know. The maceta with the pilon. There you go. See? That's how you get a beautiful mofongo. Look at the color, beautiful. Here, just for representation. See how big it is? Just put the hole, that way you can, you know, put the meat inside. We put meat inside and in top too. So it's a full outside and inside mofongo. Full of protein, meat, all your favorite veggies. Right here. Vamos a hacer hoy un mofongo de bistec, lo primero que vamos a hacer es sellar nuestra carne. La vamos a sacar. Con nuestro ingrediente secreto. En Puerto Rico se come mucho el bistec. La salsa secreta que es a base de ajo. Aquí es donde está el verdadero sabor. Y ponemos un poquito de color que no puede faltar. Como 7 minutitos, de 5 a 7 minutos. Para que todos los ingredientes se mezclen y hagan una salsa homogénea. So, now we have the uh, bistec cebollado. So, Remember, stuff it in there. It's like an outside, inside, mofongo, filled meat. Because it's a bistec cebolla, obviously we sauteed the mofongo with onions and peppers. How'd you learn how to cook, bro? I mean, everyone in my family, I mean, first of all, she's, you know, she's the one who made it everything, like I told you. But in my case, my mom, my dad, they, they know, they all know how to cook. So that's how I learned. Basically, that's how you do. And working in restaurants, you know, I've been since I started working in restaurants in 2006 as a dishwasher, right. and I've been learning through the process. I've been bartender, dishwasher, cook, everything in the kitchen. And you moved here what four years ago? Uh, five years ago. Five years ago. Yeah. And you're in the military, you told me. I am. I'm reservist. I've been in the army for almost 11 years. Wow. Yeah. I've been deployed to Iraq. I've been to Syria, Kuwait, Qatar, many places in the Middle East. So we're both we've both been to Iraq. <laughs> I've been to Iraq. I've been in Iraq in a different yeah. type of setting. Yeah, <laughs> in a different setting. Yeah, yeah, yeah of yeah, course. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. but a lot of Puerto Ricans serve in the military, right? It's like a tradition in Puerto Rico, I would say, to serve in the military, even though, you know, a lot of people don't recognize it. Okay. But yeah, Puerto, Puerto Rico, you can look at the statistics. Uh, we have like the highest veterans of mostly, I think most of the 25, uh, like most of 25 states. Wow. We have our uh, very high enlisted rates in the island. And if you go overseas, there's Puerto Ricans everywhere in the military, in all of the island, you know, all the branches. So we don't get how mm -hmm. Puerto Rico has every celebrity and Dominican Republic has none. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. We have a Bonnie, Ricky Martin, Chayanne. But Dominican Republic, they have a Juan Liguerra, they have Romeo. 
But Romeo Santos is half Puerto Rican. Oh. So he got right there, right there. He's half and half. So yeah, we have. No, but things. when you when you look at the list, there's so mm -hmm. many. Yeah, Mark yeah. Anthony, Carlos Ponce. I mean, how many in Miami alone? Oh, you know? I think all they're of all them. They're all of them. Yeah, this is how the music bitch is on. J Lo. J Lo. But she's New Yorker. New Yorker. New oh, Yorker. She's from the Bronx. Does she yeah. even speak Spanish? You tell me in the comments. Mm, <laughs> so, eso es. So now, Listo. So we have the bitte mofongo. I'm pretty sure this is the best mofongo you're gonna have today. Okay. So is Puerto Rico a state? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I went to college for politics, so trust me, I can't answer you that You know, question. that's why I wanted to ask you because yeah. you're the one that I feel like with the military background, mm -hmm. you can explain to us a little bit. I have bit. a master in politics, so we can talk, you know, we can talk about politics the whole day if you want. So why is it not a state and do they want to be a state? Because I know like Puerto Ricans, they feel like their own culture, their own world. Mm -hmm. You could be Puerto Rican. Like Texas, they yeah. have their own culture. So in Puerto Rico, I love being Puerto Rican, but I love being American too. So if you ask me as a person, She's different. I would like to Puerto Rico to become a state. That's my case, but in her case, she would like a different way of seeing Puerto Rico. So it's, it all depends on who you ask. But that's up to Congress, and it's been like that for the past 100 something years. Yeah. It's in a weird place because it's a territory that's Latino, mm -hmm. which is the only one of mm -hmm. its kind. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, these people that they're Americans, but they have a Latin background, so it's, it's mm -hmm. a hard one. It is, it is. And then not being a state, you can't vote for the for the president, right? No, we That's have primaries, but remember primaries are something that is private from the from, from parties. You know, Republican Party, they do it, uh, whatever, the primaries, but it's not like actual presidential, you know, voting. Uh, you know, Tainos, uh, those are the natives from the island. So we have a big background. Yeah, I saw Not only beautiful woman, but we are uh, the happiest countries in the world. You can look for that too. You know, if you know the history of Miami, like the first Latino community here in Miami, it was Wingwood, and it was founded by Puerto Ricans. So you can look for that history. So that's the first Latino community. A community was the Bahamians coming through mm -hmm. in the Corona Grove. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Hispanic community, you're right. Remedies. <laughs> well, remedies, in my case, I still use it. Whenever I have a headache, instead of drinking a pill, I put a uh, Bix. I don't know what, you know, Bix. what Bix, I put that on my forehead. Yeah. Or, or if I have any pain, you know, it can be my elbow, my knees, whatever. I just put that up. And my abuela, she was the one who told me to do, to do how to do that. Algún otro remedio que tú ya que tenga. So I would say that's the only thing I, I, I do instead of taking pills. Just Bengay or Bigs all over my body. And I'm going to feel new. How about the top five things people should know about Puerto Rico? We have the second most beautiful beach in the world. It's called Flamenco and Culebra. Something you should see about Puerto Rico. We have one of the... I don't remember what number right now, but we have one of the best bars in the world. It's called La Factoria. That's where they film uh, Despacito, el video, the video from with Yankee and Rifonsi. We have that too. We have the second oldest church in the whole hemisphere. The first one is in Dominican Republic. We have the second one that is in Los San Juan, La Catedral de San Juan. We also have the Bacardi factory. They produce 85% of the whole Bacardi that you drink all over the world. Uh, we have the second underground river, that like Cueva de Camuy. There's so many things I can, you know, keep talking about Puerto Rico. Well, let's not talking about Puerto Rico. Let's eat the merfongo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what's in the bottom? We have this. The bottom, that's the sauce that we make a steak with. So that's the juices of the that's sauce? the juices of the steak, the onions. How much merfongo is too much merfongo? Uh, mm. Very good question. I don't know. I mean... Do the garlic. I can eat merfongo every day of my life. You know, it's becoming one of my favorite dishes. There you go. It's, it's Are you rich. Puerto Rican by any chance? No, I'm not Puerto Rican. You sure about that? <laughs> Matando, <me>, bro. <laughs> no, I love soaking it in the in this broth. I mean, in the bottom here. Good mix. Very filling. No the pork and cheese are run throughout. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you actually mix it? I mean, is that was like something people do? Yeah. Like, oh, well, they dip all that. They put the mayo ketchup all over the mofongo. All over? All over the mofongo. You can either dip it or do that. I'm going to Is this how they do in Puerto Rico? Yes, sir. Está bien, así. Spanglish, bro. How much Spanglish do they speak in Puerto Rico? Everything in Spanglish? Everything. It's crazy because you go to school in Puerto Rico and the books are in English, but the class is in Spanish. So you can imagine how crazy it is. Yeah? Books are in English and the classes are in Spanish. What logic? <laughs> it's crazy. 
I don't know. It's gonna be hard to say which is the best, bro. They're all really amazing mofongos. <laughs> I like I'm not. Me encanta como tú hablas. Así es. <laughs> so el body, what does it mean? El, bo el boricua. Boricua. Yeah, basically the Taínos they call Puerto Rico borinque. So we get that slang from the borinque, the boricua. So it's like a, you know, we call the Puerto Ricans boricuas because of that of the borinque background of the natives, of the Indian Taínos. Come <laughs> to the island with me and I'll, I'll get you. Dude. The food's really good. That was the best Mofongo tour of the Puerto Rican community in Miami. Bye.